Innovation Germs projects in Finland. So um, we can call the first, uh, let's say, two, three years as a testing or pioneering periods. Uh, so uh, David launched the very concept 2003, I, I think. Yeah. Mm. And so we followed him pretty quickly, actually. Uh, 2004, we were the we were able to launch uh, very first innovation terms program in Finland, uh, meaning first courses uh, for professional journalists, and also we launched the very first academic research project. Uh, and then a year later, uh, we were able to uh, launch the world's first innovation terms course for undergraduate students as well. So we sort of tested different kind of. Uh, things there. Uh, 2006, um, uh, with the help of Citra, we launched, uh, and with the help of Escoajo as well, because he was the president of Citra at that time. So we launched uh, National Innovation Journalist Fellowship Program, and we were able to send the very first uh, Fins to to Stanford. And I was happy to work with David for 16 months. Thank you for the invitation. It's great. And then a year later, 2007, we were able to uh, found the very first national association for uh, uh, Finnish uh, innovation journalists, uh, journalists, actually. So now we are uh, living in establishing period of time, so uh, meaning that we, we are now uh, funded by really good funders and we are able to uh, head uh, a little bit ahead in the future, not living by year after year, but ahead, you know, we are able to aim to 2012 already. So now we are sending three Finnish Inja Fellows uh, every year to Stanford program, and Tanya is here, she was among the very first to participate in this program. Uh, the budget is about 700,000 euros, uh, euro and uh, having some foundation with the help of Citra are the main founders for that. Uh, then we just uh, launched the academic research project. It's called Global Innovation Journalism Research Project. So we want to map uh, the, the, uh, the world in a way that we try to find out how um, journalists report about innovations in different parts of the world, actually. So of course, we are not able to do that in every country. So we have some of those uh, case countries from Asia, uh, North America, Europe. Um, then we have a, it's based on a joint venture between three different academic institutions, University of Jyväskylä, University of Tampere, and Turku School of Business. And we also uh, cooperate with Stanford, also Oxford Side Business School, and other world leading research universities and researchers. And it's, the budget for this academic research is, is uh, a little bit over 1 million euro. And it's funded by TechS and has been somewhat foundation. And there are planned outputs of course, research articles, a textbook in English, hopefully, and also new tools for journalists. And then we have some alumni activities. It's called the association called Finjo, uh, trips, visits, lectures, and meetings. And also, uh, this was the ver uh, third year on a row that we gave away 3,000 euro and a crystal. And the winner of that uh, prize is here today, Yuka Pertu. So he is the best innovation journalist in Finland, or he was last year. And you can see some sponsor for the prize there, Nokia, of course, Paisala, and, and the latest Technology Industries Association. And next, we are heading to a very first Nordic seminar on innovation journalism, which will be held in the uh, University of uh, Helsinki in September. And you are all, of course, invited to come to visit to Finland. Thank you. <laughs>